Hey guys, so I've been noticing that a lot of the seasoned riders and even of the new riders that you guys are forgetting your bicycle basics. So I decided to make this video so that we can go over and refresh your memory or maybe you could learn something new. The first thing we always do before we go on a ride is to put on our helmet. We go through the sequence of eyes, ears, and mouth. Your helmet should sit leveled about two to three finger spaces above your eyebrow like this. You should be able to see the front brim of your helmet when you look up. Once leveled, tighten the back of your helmet so it fits snug by dialing your helmet in. Then you want to make sure the buckles on each side of the straps forms a V or a peace sign right underneath your earlobe. Adjust the buckles up or down the strap. You can also adjust the buckles front and back by tightening or loosening each straps individually. Be sure to position the buckle just underneath your ear where the corner of the V joins like this. The last item to check is your buckle underneath your mouth. Tighten or loosen the buckle accordingly. You should be able to insert one or two fingers like this. It should be snug and your helmet should be shifting a little with the fingers there. Once your helmet is adjusted correctly, shaking your head won't change the positioning. If it does, go back and readjust it once again. If you have someone there to help you, they can do a shove at the front of the helmet to make sure it doesn't move. Remember to always adjust your helmet. I know that whenever I get off my bike, I hang my helmet on my handlebars and it always goes out of adjustments. Before you go on a ride, make sure you do what we call the ABC Quick Check. The first thing to check is the air in your tire. It should be firm to the squeeze. If the tire needs air, you'll need to pump it up with a floor pump. But before we can start using the pump, we should talk about the two types of tire valves. The first one is called a Presta, which are the narrow ones that can be found on most higher end bikes. They'll require you to unscrew the core before inserting the pump nozzle. The other type of valve are the common ones found on lower end mountain bikes or cars. They're called Schrader valves. Be sure your pump can accommodate the type of valve you have on your bike. The smaller hole is for Presta valves. The larger hole is for Schrader valves. There are nozzles that can accommodate both with just one hole like my pump. Just put the nozzle of the pump on the valve and flip the lock on the pump and begin your compressions. Be sure to go all the way up and all the way down for the most efficient usage. Your pressure gauge should give you a PSI reading. Pump up to their desired pressure for your bike. I usually pump up to 10 PSI lower than what the maximum is uh, recommended for a good balance of um, comfort as well as rolling resistance. Once you are satisfied with the air pressure, flip the lever back down and remove from the valve. If you have a Presta valve, screw the core back down. Next thing you need to do is check the B's, uh, which stands for brakes and bars. Squeeze the levers and make sure you have about half an inch to an inch gap between the handlebar and the lever once compressed. The way I remember how to adjust the barrel adjusters is to follow the cable towards the brake and turn them counterclockwise. Another way is to compress your levers and turn the barrel adjusters. You should actually feel the levers expand or compress with every turn. While you have one of your levers squeezed, push your bike forward. If it's the back tire, it should stay in place and drag across the floor. If it's your front tire, the rear of your bike should be off the ground and the front of your bike should be planted on the ground. If the brakes aren't tight, just do some more adjustments with your barrel adjusters. Uh, make sure you tighten up the calipers as much as possible. But if you're not comfortable with that, bring it into a bike shop and they'll have that done real quick. The other B is checking the handlebar. You do this by putting your front wheel of your bike between your legs and try to turn the handlebar left and right. The C in ABC Quick Check stands for chain, cassette, cog, cluster, or crank arm, which is part of your whole entire drive train. The chain is necessary to help propel your bike forward. Make sure that it's not rusted, too tight, or too loose. You do this by using the backside of your two fingers and lift the chain from the bottom. If it's too tight, the chain can snap. 
If it's too loose, the chain can fall off. So make sure you adjust your wheels accordingly, or if you're not comfortable with that, take it to a bike shop. Examine your cassette cogs or clusters in the rear wheel and make sure the teeth isn't worn. You can tell that it's worn if the teeth are sharp and pointy. Do the same examination of the front chain rings. Then take both sides of the crank and pull on them to see if there is any play. If there is, bring it to a bike shop to have them adjust your bottom bracket. For maintenance, make sure you oil your chain after every other ride or every 200 to 300 miles. The last thing of ABC Quick Check is your quick release. Make sure your quick release are on snug. I usually tighten until I get resistance at the halfway point before I start closing it in. It should leave an imprint on your palm when you attempt to close it. So now with your helmet on, get on the bike and start your ride. And there you have it, helmet check and ABC quick check. So I actually teach this to all the new riders and thousands of kids in Southern California. I also would like to thank a sponsor of this video. Now Helmet provided me with a brand new Zappy helmet for this demo and I think it looks pretty amazing. It's got the same lightweight build as the Irby but a much sleeker design. Check out their website listed in the description below to get your own. Use my code MILESTONE25 to get 25% off your next purchase on their website. As I was creating this video, Now Helmet sent me a pair of helmets which were too small. They said I could use them for giveaways. If you're interested in winning one of these helmets, make sure you comment below. I'm going to pick two winners and announce it on a video or something and send it off to you. And make sure you like this video or subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. I do a lot of bike touring related videos, so you want to stay tuned for that. And until next time, make sure you discover your ride.